Welcome to this Learn Electrics help and tips video about the 18th edition wiring regulations exam. This is session number five and in this video we are looking in detail at the ZS tables shown in part four of the wiring regulations book. You will always have several questions on these tables in every exam. Always. The 18th edition exam tests your understanding of the regulations. You need to show that you know how to use the wiring regulations and the various tables shown in the book. This video will show you some worked examples of finding ZS values in the tables, followed by several exam style questions for you to attempt yourself. Pause the video after each question, find the answer and restart the video. We will then show you the correct answer and how we found the solution to the question. Expect four to six questions just on the ZS tables in the exam. There are a number of keywords that are always mentioned in regard to ZS exam questions and our hope here is to put them in some sort of proper context for you. If we can put them into an understandable order then this improves the chances of words being retained in long-term memory or at least long enough for the exam. This is the order in which we will look at these words in this video. We can begin with an appendix called Time and Current Characteristics. If you look at page 3 of your regs book, you will see that this is Appendix 3, an important place to start. Let's turn to page 370 for an example. Shown here is the chart from page 370. This is the time and current characteristics for a Type B breaker or RCBO. If we know the time we want the breaker to operate in, this chart will tell us the fault current that must flow. In other words, time and current characteristics. We are interested in the little box on the top right of the page. The numbers have all been worked out for us. This is a B-type chart. On the next page is the C-type chart and the page after that is the D-type chart. Make sure that you are on the correct page for the question. Look closely at the box. It indicates the time at the top, the red box here, and the current is in the blue box. It tells us the time and current for each size of breaker or RCBO. A 10 amp breaker needs 50 amps of fault current to operate in the time indicated, whilst a 32 amp device requires a lot more, 160 amps. Let's do a worked example of a typical exam question on this. The question asks, a 16 amp type B BSEN 60898 circuit breaker is required to operate in 0 0.4 seconds or less. The minimum current required is, and there are four possible answers shown, only one is correct. Use the information in the question. It tells us it is a 16 amp type B breaker and the time is 0 0.4 seconds or less. Looking at the table, we can find 16 amps and this tells us that the fault current must be at least 80 amps. So we should choose answer C. If you are on the right page, you will find the right answer. Now consider ZS and find page 62 in the wiring regulations book. We can all remember Ohm's law and the equation V over I equals R. Voltage divided by current equals resistance. Or we could say that voltage divided by current equals ZS. Using the 80 amp answer from our example question, 230 volts divided by 80 amps is 2.875 ohms. Compare this to table 41.3 on page 62. Find the B-type section, find 16 amps, and the answer shown does not match our calculation. 2.875 is not equal to 2.73. We need to do another calculation to get the right answer. Look immediately below the table at the notes. It tells us that there is a C-min factor of 0 0.95 to take into account. This is shown below each of the tables and also shown on page 60 in regulation 411.4.4 .4 .4 under note. C-min 
is the minimum voltage factor and this allows for voltage fluctuations in the supply. We must multiply 2.875 by 0 0.95 and out pops the answer 2.73 which now matches the table. So all the ZS values shown in the tables have had a C min of 0 0.95 applied to them. There are three tables of interest. Page 61, page 62 and page 63. And each table is very different. Look carefully at the heading for each table. You absolutely must understand these. The tables on page 61 and page 63 are to do with fuses. Page 61 is for fuses in final circuits with tripping times of 0 0.4 seconds or less. Page 63 is for fuses in distribution circuits with tripping times of 5 seconds or less. For fuses, we use a different table for different tripping times. One for final circuits and one for distribution circuits. The table on page 62 is different. It is for circuit breakers and RCBOs and covers both 0 0.4 seconds and 5 second times. So on page 62, we use table 41.3 for both final circuits and distribution circuits. In the exam, the question may mention final circuits or it may use 0 0.4 seconds. Remember that they are the same. 0 0.4 seconds means a final circuit. And 5 seconds and distribution circuits are the same. 5 seconds means a distribution circuit. Here's an example question. What is the tabulated ZS for a 32 amp type C circuit breaker to BSEN 60898? You need to be on page 62 looking at table 41.3. Find C type on the left of the table, then find 32 amps and below that is the answer 0 0.68 ohms. So choose answer B. Another example, the question asks what is the tabulated ZS for a 32 amp BS88-3 fuse system C in a distribution circuit? This time we want table 41.4 on page 63. The question tells us it is a distribution system which means a 5 second disconnection time. Find BS88-3 system C fuses but be careful there are two different types of BS88 fuses on this chart. Only one is correct for this question. Find 32 amps and the answer is 1.6 ohms. Answer D. Now try this one. What is the tabulated ZS for a 15 amp BS3036 fuse in a final circuit? Fuses again, but a final circuit this time and that means 0 0.4 seconds. We need page 61, table 41.2. Find BS3036 fuses, find 15 amps, and there is our answer, 2.43 ohms. Choose answer A. OK, let's do some practice questions. A typical exam question will be shown. Pause the video and attempt an answer. Make your choice from A, B, C or D and restart the video. We will show you how we found the answer and give you the correct choice of answer. Let's begin with question 1. A distribution circuit is protected by a BS88-2 system E fuse rated at 100 amps. What is the tabulated ZS for this circuit? Pause the video and find the answer. You should have answer A. 0 0.42 ohms and the box shows you the route to the correct answer. On to question 2. A distribution circuit is protected by a BS88-3 system C fuse rated at 5 amps. What is the tabulated ZS for this circuit? Again pause the video whilst you find the answer. You should have answer B 14.6 ohms. As before, the information in the box shows you the route to the answer. Question 3 now. What value is the minimum voltage factor C min? To answer this one, look below each table. Pause the video 
and find the answer. C min, the minimum voltage factor, is 0 0.95. Answer C. Now question 4. The question asks, the ZS for a final circuit protected by a 16 amp BSEN 61009 RCBO type B is shown in the tables as Again, pause the video, find the answer and continue. This time it is answer A, 2.73 ohms. Question 5 next. An 80 amp type D BSEN 60898 circuit breaker is required to operate in a time of 0 0.4 seconds or less. The minimum current required is and you will need to go to Appendix 3 to find the answer to this question. Pause the video and find the answer. This question talks about time and current, so we need Appendix 3, the time and current characteristics. Find the 0 0.4 second column, find 80 amps, and we have our answer, 1,600 amps, and answer D. Now question 6. We are asked, a distribution circuit is protected by a 6 amp type D BSEN 60898 MCB and is required to operate in less than 0 0.4 seconds. The tabulated ZS for this circuit is shown as, pause the video and answer the question. You should choose answer C, 1.82 ohms. And now question 7. The question is, a 10 amp type C BSEN 60898 circuit breaker is required to operate in a time of 0 0.4 seconds or less. The minimum current required is, pause the video before continuing. This is a time and current question again, so the answer will be found in Appendix 3 on page 371. The fault current needed is 100 amps so choose answer D. And now question 8. A final circuit is protected by a 60 amp BS3036 fuse and is required to operate in less than 0 0.4 seconds. The tabulated ZS for this circuit is shown as... Pause the video, find the answer. Your answer should be choice B. So in summary then. The ZS tables are an important part of the wiring regulations. Understanding how to use these tables and what they mean is an important part of the exam. There will always be questions on ZS in every exam. You must understand the differences between the tables, understand the times for final circuits and understand the times for distribution circuits. Practice the questions in this video several times. The more that you repeat the information, and the learning, the easier it is to recall the correct method in the exam. Good luck and keep learning. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, Enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description and each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector. Page 2, page 3, 4 and so on that will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar 
to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.